rapid prototyping right before your eyes by print to 3d www.printo3d.com Let's begin. Today we're going to make a model of a cup. This cup is one inch tall and is half inch in diameter. First thing the machine does is it lays down a layer between the base of the model and the build tray. You can see the head going back to the little brush. That little brush is to clean the, the nozzles off so there's no excess material in the way of the build. The material itself is ABS plastic. And there's two types of material. There's the, the model material which is white and there's the support material, which is gray. Support material helps the ho support the model while it's being built. Uh, the support material is also the base, which it's building now. This base just holds the model to the trip. ABS plastic comes out of two cartridges, one of which is the model material, the second one is the support material. The wire inside the cartridges is fed up through a tube into the print head. This print head is 270 degrees Celsius or 518 degrees Fahrenheit. The build chamber is 70 degrees Celsius or 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Right now it's building the base of the cup. It's now starting just starting to start the stem. This cup was created in a CAD program and exported as an STL file which is needed to build the cup using the software that the machine needs to make the tool pass to create the part. Just now starting to build the actual cup itself. It's building the bottom of the cup. This 3D printing technology is known as Fused Deposition Modeling, or FDM for short. This machine is basically extruding the model material and the support material 
that have two needle-like nozzles, and the material is coming out in approximately ten thousandths of an inch strands. It's basically like a large hot glue gun. Everywhere there's material, the machine has to put in a layer 10,000 thick. So basically each layer of this part and the Z axis is 10,000 7 inch. Here are some sample parts that we have printed. Thanks for watching Print to 3D's Printer in Action.